In the Carolina kitchen today, a great southern side dish is also one some folks say they're afraid they can't cook. We're making things easy for you, though, with a local recipe to give it real flavor the easy way. Welcome into the Carolina kitchen. Sam Ragland with Rose Original Barbecue is here with us. We are glad to have you. Good to be here. You have got something that smells awesome going on already in this pot. What are you making? Uh, we're going to do collard greens today. We're starting out with render down bacon. We add sausage to our collard greens and we do onions as well. Um, traditionally, I think you do probably some sort of pork or pork fat. We start with bacon, uh, go to sausage, end up with onions, and then with, and with that add chicken stock, uh, bring it to a boil, and then add our greens and go for another two to three hours. We okay. do large pots at the restaurant, so this is broken down to feed a family of uh, five to six. Okay. Uh, we started off with about a quarter pound of bacon, um, and then about a foot of sausage. So what we're going to do is any particular the, bacon or sausage? I mean, what we are we do apple smoked. I okay. mean, you can do just about anything. The the mild or uh, I'm sorry, the more mild flavors are the um, fruit woods. So any kind of apple or cherry would actually t make it taste a little less uh, woody or okay. smoky. Um, so you get a more of a bacon flavor of the pork. Uh, so you get to taste more of the pork flavor than just the wood flavor. Um, so we do an apple smoke. Uh, we render that down, and then we add about a foot of sausage to that. Render all the fat out of that as well, and then we add um, onions to that, and get almost a caramelized uh, color to the onions. Okay, that's what we've gotten here so far. And so once we get to that point, we're going to add. This is two cups, and we're going to do four cups of chicken stock. And what we're going to do with that, we're going to add a tablespoon of kosher salt with the black pepper. I like to do about a teaspoon as well as one bay leaf. Um, and then we're going to bring that up to a roiling boil. And once we achieve that, um, we'll add our greens to that and then we'll let it go for another, with this amount, probably about an hour until it's nice and tender. Okay, so this is going to take a, quite a while for you to do it, Helen. Absolutely. So this is something you want to plan ahead. Okay, and then you've got a great finished product. Now everybody loves this meal, right? Oh, absolutely. It's a big hit at uh, Moe's and with at the, uh, at the restaurant, we add a little jalapeno pepper vinegar to it as well. Just slice up some jalapenos, add a white vinegar, let it sit for maybe uh, two to three hours, and then start using it. It should infuse within less than a couple hours. And you need quite a bit of collards because, again, it's going to, they're going to shrink down. Yes, ma'am. We add about a two-pound batch to this. So there's about two pounds of collard greens, and you should render it. I mean, it'll cook down to about... Just about nothing. <laughs> okay. So you'll add about this much, which would feed probably about 10 people. But with this amount, we're looking, I would say, five to six. Okay. It smells fantastic in this pot. Let's get you guys the recipe at home. Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That, of course, is the fastest way. Or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville 28803. And don't forget to check us out on Pinterest. Moe's Original Barbecue here with us. Collard greens. It looks fantastic. Smells awesome. That bacon doesn't hurt, right? Uh, not at all. <laughs> all right. Sam, thanks so much for being with us. Thank and that, you. And that's what's cooking in the Carolina Kitchen.